it's Lindsay here with Pilates On Demand. Today we're gonna hit a glute focused Pilates workout with the booty band. So all you're gonna need is one loop resistance band. I'm using the extra heavy rubber band. I would suggest using the rubber if you have that because I'm looking for big range of motion today and heavy high endurance. So without further ado, we're gonna get into it by sliding this resistance band above your knees on your thighs. While we work the right leg, you're gonna have the band above the right knee and below the left knee. So that when you're kneeling, the band is below the left knee and has some pressure, so it's anchored down and won't move around. We're gonna be working all on the right leg and then go to the left and then we'll have two more rounds. So it's three rounds total. It has a bit of variety to it and it is going to kick your bum and make your glutes nice and toned and perky. So let's do it. Okay guys, so we're gonna start all on that right leg. We've got the resistance band above the right knee, below the left knee, so you're kneeling on the resistance band with that left knee so that it does not go anywhere. You ready? So coming down onto the forearms, interlace your fingers, plant those forearms right underneath your shoulders. Now in your upper body, we want good form too. So I know this is a leg focused workout, but what I don't wanna see as a Pilates instructor, as your Pilates instructor, is this. This is not okay, and this is not okay either, okay? So lift your head up with your eyes slightly looking forward. The back of your head should line up with the rest of your spine. So this is gonna improve your posture too, yeah? Okay, first move. You're going to point your right toes and cross your right leg over the left leg. So I'm gonna angle my left foot wide so my foot is wider than the knee. We're doing a crossover donkey kick. Belly button is in, let's move. We're gonna lift that right leg up through center, and then we're gonna cross the right leg over the left shin again. Lift the right leg up through center. We squeeze the glute, toes are pointed. We cross the leg over the left leg. Okay, so we're doing slight hip internal rotation. So when you have the right leg lifted, I want you to think that your right knee is trying to point to the left wall. So there is no turnout here. Remember, we're looking to hit those glutes. We're trying to get them from every angle. Right now, I really wanna target your glute max. Kinda like the root of your butt is what I would call it. Every time you lift up through the middle, I want you to hold and squeeze your glute. So this workout could totally be done without any effort and then you're not gonna get results. So a couple uh, pieces of advice as far as getting your glutes to build is to slow it down a lot and focus on activation, activating the muscles. So no matter how many times you've done a squat or you've done a fire hydrant, when you start to do it with better form and better intention, that's most likely when you're gonna start to see the results. Doesn't always come with adding a more advanced exercise or more weight. Sometimes it comes from better body awareness. So uh, that's what I'm here to work with you today. Okay, we've got a couple more in this position. Now I want you to think when that leg lifts up that you do not straighten the leg any amount. So you're really trying to keep the crease at the back of the knee. So like you would not be able to fit anything behind the back of the knee. I'm pulling my heel in so much. Okay, let's go for three more right here. We lift and squeeze. We tap it down across the left. Last two. Okay, one more and then we have a leg position change, still staying on the right. Okay, we're gonna straighten the right leg now. Turn the right knee over to the left, and then cross the leg to the left. Lift the leg up through center so at the top it's in line with your right hip. Cross the leg over to the left and point the knee to the left. Lift up through center, squeeze your glute. Cross over, turn the knee left. So use the resistance band as a little cue for what position your leg is in. When your leg is up at the top, make sure you can feel your right inner thigh touching the resistance band more than the outer thigh. 
So right now we're working a very parallel, slightly turned in position. So we can focus on your glute max. Uh, if you are a dancer and you turn out a lot, this might be kind of strange or challenging. <laughs> and that's okay. But just try to work the thigh bone spinning in. Starting to feel the shakes, huh? And surprisingly, the supporting leg, right? <laughs> So let's just take a little recheck in that upper body form, making sure the head's not hanging and neither is our belly. We inhale, tap, and we exhale, lift up. Good work. We've got about five more here on this leg. Lifting through center, crossing over to the left. And I know as the leg starts to fatigue, sometimes we rush the reps. So be careful of that, keep it slow. Rushing out of it's not gonna get the results that you're looking for, so slow it down. Last two right here for two. Last one right here for one. Okay, bend the knee in, we're staying on the right, we're just switching arm positions. Plant your right palm kind of wider than the shoulder, and then the left worm's gonna go across the mat now with the fingers pointing to the hand. We've got a fire hydrant. So flex your right foot now. You're gonna open the right knee out to the right. Now pause and take a peek at your left hip and make sure you're not falling left. The left hip should be over the knee, and then lower the leg down, okay? So you're using your outer left hip and your left oblique when you do this right fire hydrant. Because I don't want you falling over into the left side of the body. If you have to move anything besides your right leg to lift the leg, then you're not really doing this correctly. So nothing else should move but the leg. And if that means you can't lift your leg as high, that is okay. Like I said, better form is going to equal better results. Not always doing a bigger movement or a heavier weight equals better results. How are we doing? Are we feeling it? Okay, really try to push up into that tension when you lift that right leg. So we've kind of moved what part of the glute we're focusing on now, right? This is your glute med. This is like the side butt area. Maybe you've heard it called your abductors. That as well is being worked here. Let's do five more. And four. Woo, hip work for three. And two. Okay, last one. And one. Same leg. Coming to all fours, hands and knees. We're adding on to the hydrant. You're going to open the right knee out to the right. Extend the leg right. Bend the knee. And lower it down. Of course, when I turn the leg out and extend it, if you peek down, I still want that left hip over the left knee. That's most likely going to make the lift of your leg a lot lower. But I promise you, you're going to see a lot more definition in your butt when you use your leg and your glute and not other body parts here. So we're isolating other body parts in order to really fire up your tush. Woo! How's that extra heavy band feeling, guys? <laughs> Quite shaky. Okay, I haven't talked too much about the breath yet, but I can feel my breath getting a little bit challenged here. So mainly with this, I exhale on exertion. So when I lift my leg, I'm exhaling, and I inhale as I lower down. Now, honestly, if that's so confusing and you're not there yet with practicing breathing, just focus 
on breathing. It does not matter where you breathe in and out. It matters first and foremost that you don't hold your breath while exercising. That's our number one goal here. Okay, guys, we got five more, so hang on. We hydrant, we flex, like we're driving our foot through the right wall, bend the knee, lower down. Okay, belly button to spine. We got three more and then we're changing legs, okay? That's like a little gift, right? <laughs> and three. Awesome. For two. Good, last one. Hydrant, extend, bend, and lower. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is when I'm grad, I grabbed a towel. So we just have to reset the position of the band. So I want you to bring the band now so it's above the left knee and below the right shin, okay? And we're gonna get right into it. So we're repeating all of those moves. So forearms to start. Elbows underneath the shoulders, your abs are in, and your head is not resting on your forearms. I'm gonna kick my right shin down, point my left toes, cross my left leg over my right shin. Then I'm gonna lift the leg up through center and give myself a big glute squeeze. Inhale, cross over. Exhale, to lift. Okay, at the top of that leg lift, I am only going as high that I don't move my spine, specifically the lower part of the back. So if your lower back is moving in order to get your leg up, that could be a reason why you're not getting as much activation in your glutes, right? Because you're moving and using the muscles of your lower back in order to get the leg up rather than using the muscles from your butt. So one, it's a safety thing for your back, and two, it's also like, hey, if you haven't gotten results and you haven't gotten your glutes to develop, why don't we see and kind of be like a little private investigator <laughs> as to why that might be happening? Because like I said, it doesn't always mean you have to do something really fancy or heavier or really harder. It's make it harder by mind-body focus. Increase that. Increase your muscle mass. <laughs> okay, every lift, I'm looking to feel that left inner thigh touching the resistance band. Breathing in to lower. Breathing out to lift. Good work, you guys. So just staying focused. And every rep, I really try to scan my body to make sure that I'm holding on to good form. It's hard to do it all at once. So I know that I'm giving you lots of instructions, but you know, that's why this is a more intermediate advanced workout because there are a lot of things to think about and you're at a point in your Pilates or workout practice that um, you can handle it. <laughs> Let's do three more and then we're gonna go into the straight leg version of this. Last two. Good, last one for one. Okay, straighten the left leg and turn the knee to the right. Cross the leg over the right shin, turning the knee in so it points to the right wall. Lift it up through center. Cross it over and down. Lift it up through center. I like to inhale to lower and exhale to lift. Actively push the floor away so we keep the face and the chest lifted up. Looking good, guys. OK, 
okay? So even with this straight leg variation, when your leg lifts through center, remember, I'm trying to turn my knee in slightly since we're focusing on getting your glute max to fire and not the outer hip yet. So I wanna make sure we target all the muscles. I don't want you to be in a turned out position this whole class. And I find that is like a little bit overused, is turning out the leg. So that's why I chose to focus on doing a little bit of this internal rotation to target a different part of your glute. Okay, let's go for four more. For four. And three. Woo! Sweat in the eye. Last two. Good, one more. Last one. Okay, come to kneeling. If you need to wipe sweat, wipe sweat. We're going into our fire hydrants. So this time, your right forearm is pointing to the right and your left palm is planted. Okay, hug the right knee in. We're gonna flex the left foot. Open the left knee to the left. Lower it down. Peek at that right hip. When you lift the left leg, it should not lean anywhere. It does not move. If that means you can't get your leg as high as me, let it be, that's okay. If that means you can go way higher, that's also great. I'm not trying to show off. I'm just demonstrating and working out with you guys. Good, exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Okay, make sure the shoulders are pulled away from the neck. So we try to not keep tension in your neck, right? We are trying to keep the neck lifted, but not by clenching your jaw or your teeth. And just be cognizant of the difference between holding form and creating unnecessary tension in the body. So differentiate between engage and like clenching. There's a balance of ease and effort when working out. So, of course you wanna try your best, but you don't wanna be pushing or trying so hard that it actually is almost uh, counterproductive, right? Okay, we're gonna go for five more, for five. Remember not to rush out of the top range. Let it shake, let it engage, and then lower. We have three more for three. Thank goodness I brought this towel. I have no idea I'd be sweating this much. <laughs> and two. All right, last one. And one. Okay, we're going all fours, and we're gonna do the extension with that hydrant, okay? So hands underneath the shoulders, hug the right hip in, left foot is flexed. We open left. We extend the left leg left, we bend the knee, we lower the leg. We lift, we lengthen, we bend the knee, we lower the leg. Now I want you to try to favor your left hand here. That's also gonna help you from leaning right. Guys, we're almost through round one. The good news is, is the pace picks up because the range of motion with all of the moves are going to shrink. And I'll show you what that means in just a second. We gotta finish this exercise on this left leg. But your glutes should definitely <laughs> already be fired up. When we shrink the range of motion, it starts to create more of this like burning sensation in the body, which is something called lactic acid buildup. That's what makes you feel like 
oh my gosh, it's on fire. So you're gonna feel that, but you know, it'll be quick. And then you'll be really proud of yourself. Okay, let's do five more. Here we go, last five, right? I know, it's getting challenging. For five, don't rush the leg extension. Extend through your knee and engage your thigh. So I know we're working your butt, but tighten your thigh to fully straighten the leg. Please. <laughs> Last two. Here we go, guys. Finishing up round one. Last one. Oh my gosh, okay. So, here's the scoop. We keep those exercises, but it changes up a little bit because smaller range. We're not gonna go all the way to the floor. Everything's gonna stay higher. So switch the band again. It's gonna be above the right knee, below the left shin to anchor. And we're gonna start with the same exercise. So those donkey kick crossovers, and we're on our forearms. Here we go. So point the right toes, cross the right knee to the left, find good form in the rest of the body. You're gonna lift the leg up. If there's already tension in the band, we're going up through center, halfway down cross. Up through center, halfway down cross. Now you're gonna pick the pace up a little bit. So smaller range of motion, a little faster, squeezing the glute at the top. Breathing out, breathing in, you got it. That's it for 10, nine, eight, seven. Inner thigh touches that band on the lift. Make sure you don't turn out in five, four, three, we're moving to a straight leg. Two, same move. One, straighten the leg, turn the knee in, cross halfway left, lift up through center. Halfway left, lift up through center. So focus of rolling your inner thigh into that resistance band as you lower down, squeezing the glute at the top. Good work. That's halfway, we're gonna do 10 more. 10, nine, not losing tension on the band at all this round. Eight, seven, strong upper body. Six, five, four. You got it, arm position is changing in three, two, one. Okay, we've got our hydrants. Right hand down, left form across, pointing to the right hand with the fingers. Hover the right leg. We lift, we lower halfway down. Lift, halfway down. So draw your left oblique in. Shoulders are down. Flex the right foot. Drive up. Getting that right hip to turn on. Woo, let's get it. We got 10 more for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, arm position and changing in two, one. Okay, so we add the extension, hands and knees. Here we go. So, leg is up. We lift, extend, bend, lower a little bit. Lift, extend, bend, lower a little bit. You got it. Breathe in and out. Drive, extend, bend, and lower. Give me 10, nine, eight. We're gonna fight for this one, guys. Seven. Just because it's hard doesn't mean we can't do it, right? Five, four, tummy in, three, two, 
Let's get it. One. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that was our half range on our right. We're switching sides. Half range on the left. So switch the band above the left knee, below the right to anchor it, and come to the forearms. Woo! Okay, we've got the crossover donkey kicks, but remember, we're keeping tension in the band the whole time. Point the left toes, belly button in, cross the leg over, but keep tension in the band. Lift up through center, squeeze the glute. Cross over, lift, squeeze. Cross over, lift, squeeze. Good. Left inner thigh should touch the band at the top, and the leg should stay in the same position. So really curl your heel toward your bum. So at the top, ask yourself, is my heel pulling in? And the answer should be yes. Okay, so smaller and quicker. Squeeze up. Here we go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it on 1, 1, straighten the leg, turn the knee to the right, Cross right, lift through center. Cross right, lift through center. When you cross right, turn your left knee to the right wall. Big squeeze into that left glute as you lift through center. Good work, guys. Keep your abs in. Let it shake. That's a good thing. And we're here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, arm position changes in two, and one. Okay, hydrants, left palm down, Right fingers point to that left hand. Hug the right hip in. We're up. Flex the left foot. Press up. Halfway down. Up. Halfway down. You got it. Breathe out and in. Move your shoulders down. Lengthen your neck. Breathe through it. Okay, we got 10 right here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, are you sweating like me, 4, 3, 2, 1, okay, hands and knees. Bend and extend from the hydrant. Shoulders down, we're up, flex the foot. Extend, bend, lower. Lift, extend, bend, lower. Lean into the left palm. Draw the abs in. Look slightly forward of the hands. That's also an adjustment for myself. Okay, we've got 10. Full leg extension. Try not to lower the leg all the way down. Believe me, it's hard, but I'm gonna push myself. Like I said earlier, just because it's hard doesn't mean we can't do it. Okay, give me five, and four, three, two, one more, one. Wow, okay, breathe for just a second. Here we go. That was a very short second, but we're near the end. So we're doing everything pulses. Really small range, really quick. This will be a short round, but it will burn it out. 
So switch the band above the right knee and below the left shin. Repeating all fours. The leg is gonna be high, okay? Elbows underneath the shoulders. Lift the abs, lift the face. Point the right toe, are you guys ready? Let's do it. Bring that right leg up, turn the right knee in. Little pulses. Keep your knee really bent. Squeeze left, squeeze left, you got it. Okay, you got 10 more, then we straighten the leg. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep the leg up, straighten it, turn the knee in. Point the toes, lift. I want your inner thigh to touch that resistance band. Your right hip should point down. Squeeze that right glute to get the band up. Okay, we're gonna count it right here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, get it higher. Three, two, one. Set the arms, right palm, left forearm. Lift that right leg, flex the foot and lift and lift, shoulders down. Squeeze that outer hip. Try to turn your right knee to the sky. That's it, we got 10, nine, eight. Lift your leg, hug the right hip in. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All fours, it's gonna be a bend press. Turn your right knee out, keep it high, flex the foot, straighten the leg, bend press, bend press. Super small. Turn your knee and toes up to the ceiling. Let's do this. 10, nine, eight, get your knee up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that was hard. Okay, let's do the other leg to finish. And we stretch. Switch the band. Below the right knee, above the left. Let's crush it together, high fives. All fours, let's take this home. Point the left toes, heel close to your glute, lift it up through center, turn the knee in, little lifts. Okay, I want that inner thigh touching the band and your heel trying to touch your left glute. We go for 10, nine, lift the thigh up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold the thigh up, straighten the leg, turn the knee in and lift, lift. It should shake. Now the leg lift comes with a glute squeeze. Hang on to it, guys. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, higher, five, four, three, two, one. Last two moves, hydrant, left palm, right form across, Hug the right hip in, flex the left foot, and we press it up. Think of turning that left knee out, out, out. You got it. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six. A little harder, five, four, three, two, one. All fours, bend, press, bend, press. Super small through the knee joint. This is it, lift, bend, press, bend, press. Try to turn. Your knee and toes out more. I'm gonna count it down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, to failure. And that is a good thing. Oh my gosh, I think I wanna lay down. <laughs> Do you wanna lay down? Slide that band off. Wow, I'm a sweaty mess. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna lay down. Ah, oh, we did it, guys. My heart rate's up like crazy. I just got off of a plane, and I was like, oh, there's nothing more that I wanna do than film a workout and move. <laughs> so here we are. So, let's stretch. Tush on fire. Bend the knees, take the left ankle over the right thigh and open the left knee up. Make a little tunnel between your low back and the mat. Maybe because we just attacked the glutes, this is a big enough stretch. Maybe you wanna bring the right leg in. But remember, once you hug the right knee in, 
Still to keep the gap between your lower back and the mat. Woo! Okay, release and let's switch. Left ankle over. Open the left knee. So do that from your hip strength rather than this. So it's the same action as fire hydrant. Glutes down. You can bring it in, but see we didn't lose the space. We're gonna hug that left leg in and get that glute stretch. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was something. Let me know how that felt for you. Let me know what kind of band you used. <sighs> I hadn't done a ton of strength training this week. There was a Peloton at the gym I stayed at, at the hotel, and that was fun. I had never done that before. It was nice to like mix it up. I usually like run or do like a hit for um, cardio, but it was something different. Let's do hamstring stretches. So left leg, hold behind the thigh, and I don't want you to be here or here. So butt down, leg straight. So I'm really flexible, but I'm not trying to grab my foot like this. This is not gonna give you as much of a stretch. So hold lower until you can fully extend your knee. She is turned on after that workout. Woo, okay, other leg. So arch in the low back, hold the back of the thigh and push your leg into the thigh. Drive your heel to the ceiling. So active stretching here, as if we didn't do enough activity already. <laughs> Woo! Well guys, I hope you heard, like loved this glute activating workout. I mean, let that go. This would be a long routine to pair with a full length leg day with weights, um, but if you were doing something short, it could be great, because I mean, these muscles are really turned on. If you're just like crushing it and you wanna do a weighted leg day after this, that's awesome, I mean, or it could be the burnout from your leg workout, right? But this is a standalone leg workout, so don't worry if you aren't feeling that. I'm definitely done for the day. So guys, way to crush it. My name's Lindsay Bushman, and this is Pilates On Demand, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like, share, all the things. Let me know how it went in the comments, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.